guys this is orchid today i just want to show you how i refresh my living room for the spring on a very small budget generally i start with the floors i'll do a deep clean of the floors this is where i bring my steam mop out i will vacuum the area rugs and i learned from nikki boyd from at home with nikki a fellow youtuber that it's a good idea to flip them over and vacuum the reverse of them as well um, generally do that now since I've, I've, I've learned about it. I then uh, then move to the um, hard surfaces where I do a thorough clean of all my tables, accent tables, coffee tables. What I sometimes do too is if I have soiled walls, I will wipe those down or I will just touch up spot. Here I am vacuuming the sofa. I have a couple of leather chairs so those I will give a thorough wipe down. Now in terms of redecorating, I generally start by changing out the throw pillows and I, you know, throw, throw pillows are so budget friendly, um, they are an easy, you know, easy and affordable choice. For the very small upholstery pieces, if they are looking a little, um, you know, dated or worn i will because i have developed some upholstery skills will um recover those this bench is um a little dated and i do plan on changing it in the future but for now i am just going to change the fabric i got it online from fabric guru and it's a microfiber fabric they had a spring blowout sale and i got this um, for like seven bucks and I have a huge piece left over um, this was last spring they generally have them quite regularly now this is the finished piece and all I did was shop my home found a couple of um, throw pillows and just put those on so remember to shop your home first before you go out shopping for new pieces so this is where you enter from the foyer into my living room we'll show you guys the foyer another time and there is the bench it's an old bench that i have even done a youtube video um, showing you how i kind of updated it um, this piece is my first um, real art purchase i brought this back from my homeland and um, spent a, a little bit of money on it years ago but was well worth it this is the wall to go up the staircase and i generally have photos here but i move those that spot you see on the side of the staircase is going to be my summer project. I lived in a I live in a home that's a, oh, almost 100 years old and I will be stripping the um, walls right there for the, over the summer. Now those curtain rods are from Home Goods. I wish I could find more like these. I bought these last year and I've been back so many times I've never seen them again. These curtains were in storage, just brought them out. They look fresh and new. They haven't been up for a couple of years so there you go. My staircase runner is from a discount fabric store, it cost me $61 last year. My stair railing, I replaced completely. This was another summer project from last year that I did on my own. I had a wrought iron um, um, railing there, which looked very dated. And it, I think it cost me $200 for everything there. In, um, I, it cost me, right, significantly less had I... Um, hired someone to do it so my sideboard here many of you who have been watching my video will know that i had a darker piece with a mirrored front got a bit tired of that and decided to switch it out to something bright and white watched this piece on house for almost a year went from 2900 to a little over a thousand dollars and i got it at a further discount for under a thousand now normally i have family photos sitting on top of this sideboard but many of them would seriously object to me showing their photos the glasses there are a pair of my a pair of sunglasses i bought that i just coated in joint compound and sprayed gold the books are just old novels that i glue together and again spray those goals and i use hot glue on the back for those marks you see there and i got that idea from design on a dollar i think that it's her um 
this is actually a jar with a cover but I don't use the cover I just use it as a candle holder and that is a battery operated um, candle that's in there um, the vase is from home goods last year you guys may remember my inspired by piece there um, it's a paper sculpture copying something that was in metal for five hundred dollars just giving you a general overview of the rest of the room I do like color guys I can't help it I am a Caribbean girl this um, cabinet was a Salvation Army purchase I stained it underneath it is a beautiful chocolate brown this is just a um, peel and stick wallpaper that I can remove and go back to my chocolate brown. It's actually the exact color of the table you just see here. This lamp is a new purchase. This table is a very sentimental piece. This was my first foray into buying what I considered real furniture, furniture that wasn't from Ikea. And this is a um, from Bombay and I thought I was the shizzle when I bought this guy I had arrived I was buying real furniture um, one of my side chairs with the pleated bag this one doesn't revolve this was from I think it was from Wayfair I think I got it from Wayfair I think so the rug is from rug USA overstock also carries this rug I you guys have seen me with the gray one for year, um, for a couple of years and I, I switched out a year ago to this uh, beige one. The chair is beautiful, has a beautiful pleated back and sides and on the inner areas. This table, but first let's talk about this book. The name, is that familiar to you guys? That is Nikki Boyd from the YouTube channel At Home With Nikki. Her book is finally published and I got my book today. It is wonderful, has a lot of great tips. I would encourage you to support her. Um, she is a really talented sister. I am so proud and happy for her and so proud and happy that I bought three copies which I'm going to give to my sister and a girlfriend. Okay, so congrats on that Nikki, proud of you. The table is an acrylic table that I first saw on Overstock for almost $200. Search found it on Wayfair for like $177. Search further and found it for $60. And I ended up purchasing two. And I am someone who don't like matchy matchy, but I will go with matchy matchy when it's really affordable. This is my coffee table. Uh, Took me years to finally decide on a coffee table. Love it. The vase is $7.99 from Home Goods. Of course, it's spring. You need to have some tulips in your home. I um, generally have my candles burning like everyone else. You love a beautiful scent in your home. My little crystal pieces that I picked up when I am travel. When I travel, I tend to collect them. Um, the candle holders are a previous project i got these at home goods also they were plain all clear and then i just put some gold leaf in to kind of give them some character i love this table it's very sturdy it's very sleek with the acrylic and metal beautiful so beautiful that i went out and got the matching side tables i can't believe i did that because i am so much against matchy matchy now these prints I've had them for a while. At some point, I had made these prints and put a, a bop in front of them. Now I'm back to the original. My hope is to get an oversized piece of original art, which will cost a pretty penny. But I'm committed to doing that, and I'm going to keep these until I can afford to do so. But I don't think these are bad or too bad. You know, I, I do like it. So this is the full view of the sofa. It's a channel back sofa. Love it doesn't require you putting a lot of um, throw pillows in because you'll be hiding the beauty of the back and the sides. The cushion was only $12.99 from Burlington. And here is one of my matchy matchy, I'm such a hypocrite, um, side tables. I couldn't resist these guys. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. 
I do hate the match it look, but I, I, I think I'm able to tolerate this. My tic-tac-toe game that I made, I have a video on that. Um, really beautiful tables. I just can't stop saying that. Really, really beautiful tables. Um, the lamp. Oh, let's get to this. In that little vase, there are Dollar Tree plastic balls that I dipped in John Compound to get that textural quality. The lamp is a Candice Olsen lamp that I have had for, listen to this guys, about nine years. They weigh a ton. Well worth what I bought them four years ago. So my side chair, my chair is on the other side. I generally, I may put cushions in or I may not. One of the reasons I put cushion in is because of one of the chairs got stained by a bag I left on top overnight. Don't know why it was a fabric bag. But the cushions are were a gift from my sister two years ago. And every now and then I'll bring them out if they match, you know, with the decor. So, like I said, guys, I do a lot of shopping of my home. The curtains, for me, is the piece de resistance. I'm not a French speaker, but I got this fabric at my discount store in Jamaica, Queens, for $1.99 per yard. I got 11 and a half yards and I got four um, panels out of that. And these panels are like 90, 92 inches in length because I have very tall ceilings. Um, fixture from Lowe's years ago, TV on that side. By the way, guys, the shares for my curtains are from Bobby's Discount Store in Brooklyn and those were 263 per yard and they are 90 inch in um, length. You probably recognize these um, Ottomans. Yeah. Um, I had done a video on them. They used to be in my foyer, but I no longer have that console table there. And my fixture is from Overstock, and I do plan on replacing the Lowe's fixture with one like these. Um, there I go again. Matchy matchy. I'm so against matchy matchy, but here I am trying to match stuff. So one last look, guys. Shop in your home to update for spring. Don't have to spend a lot of money. Just the mere basic. Throw pillows. Making your own um, decorative accessories and flowers doesn't cost much. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye now.